Day number 23, Wild Orchid Project, crowdsource funding on Indiegogo. I'm going to take a slight departure from our regular topic today and share my ideas and views on politics. It's the political season here in Brazil, and uh, a lot of people are talking about this. It's on the TV all the time and all the news, and uh, I don't waste too much time or energy involving myself, although I, I do try to know what the uh, topics are, what the platforms are, and who the uh, potential candidates are. Um, I like Dilma only because she refused to have lunch at the White House when she found out that her email was hacked and all of her private information was hacked. Uh, you've maybe heard me mention that before she delivered a speech at the United Nations that I felt was a little bit soft, but it made her point. She is a diplomat, of course. Um, but the reason I don't like politics is because I think it's obsolete. Like the combustion engine, uh, it doesn't uh, need to be in place. We have much better alternatives. For an example, and here's one that hits real close to the bone. We're running out of water here in Sao Paulo. Now, if there were a modern political system like Reddit or internet government, then everyone who lived in the, in the whole region and the zip codes that make up the metropolitan area of Sao Paulo would have until the end of the day to decide A, B, C, or D. Here's what's at stake. Here's the possible solutions. What is your opinion? and uh, we could take action on those opinions and share the information, try and bust ignorance, but um, we've got to find better ways than our current political platform because it's so polarized, it wouldn't matter even if God was elected, half the other uh, party are going to oppose the wisdom of God if he were elected president just because of the polarizing effect of the parties. We need to break through all of that. And people, we need to break into smaller groups and have our own government in our smaller groups that get stuff done. So we can't focus on what's broken and what's wrong. We need to focus on what's working and what's right and get behind things that we know we can affect a change in. And we got to roll up our sleeves and make some good stuff happen.